Hey everyone, it's been a lot of questions about how to make a starter. Hmm? Okay, let's make one. All right, everyone. Well, um, tomorrow I'm going to brew a really easy recipe that has been done already in my channel. It's a Mexican Pilsner. Uh, oh, I would like to remind you guys, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, Moon Underwater, we're gonna have the Vienna, the Vienna Lager. Yeah, the exact same one that you saw on the video. It's going to be in Moon Underwater, it's gonna be in cans and everywhere, uh, all over BC, but yeah, uh, we're gonna have it uh, ready. So for now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the starter, right? Uh, it's been a lot of questions, how do you make a starter, blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna make it a very simple way. We're gonna use, first of all, this is the ratio that I use, for example. In this case, we're gonna use 100 grams of um, uh, DME. And, we're gonna, um, and the ratio would be if you use 100 uh, grams, we're gonna use one liter. So it's, you know, 10 grams, 100 milliliters, 20 grams, 200 milliliters, etc., etc. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna wait it. We're gonna get the water, everything ready into the flask, and yeah, start boiling. Uh, let's put, let's start working. All right, we got now 100 grams of um, DME and one liter of water. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start boiling. All right, everyone, well, I just wanna show you a little bit like why we use it this way. So technically what we're trying to do is the starter to me is just to get the gist active. Uh, what I mean with that, uh, yes, it's going to multiply a little bit. It's, it's nutrient there, so obviously it's going to multiply. It's going to be a, a tiny uh, fermentation there. And yes, it's going to multiply, but the intention is not much to multiply the yeast. Obviously, it is a little bit because we're gonna use a bigger batch and it's only one package. But um, the starter, in reality, what it is, is just get your yeast ready to battle. What I mean, by the time you pitch your yeast into your world, uh, yeast should, be, should start, I don't know what to say, right away, but with a couple hours should start. In this case, this is a lager. Lager is a little different. They like to start in 24 hours, but if you don't do starting, it might start in 48 hours. So what we wanted is to start as soon as possible. So yeah, this is the whole reason why we do the starter. And yeah, uh, let's keep waiting for those things to get ready. Oh yeah, I forgot. Remember, Cinco de Mayo, uh, Moon Underwater, May 5th, we're gonna have the, the Mexican uh, Vienna Lager. A, if you're in Victoria, I'll be at the bar that day, so come down and have a beer with me. Uh, let's chat about beers. And the May 6th, I'll be at Mile Zero. As uh, so in Mile Zero, we brewed a, a Mexican uh, dunkel. So that's gonna be ready uh, at Cinco de Mayo as well, but uh, because I'm going to be at Cinco de Mayo at Moon, I'm now going to be at Cinco de Mayo or May 5th at a Mile Zero. So I'll be there the 6th of May. And yeah, let's, let's chat. and. Have some beer if you're in the area of my chosen at the six. I'll be right there. All right, let's keep doing what we're doing. All right, everyone. Well, uh, we just practically finished. We let it like, cool down. Uh, I'm going to work for a little bit and I'll be back when it's cold. Do the inoculate the yeast to get it in the magnetic stirrer and let it there overnight and use it tomorrow. For, for now, let's wait to this thing cool down. All right, uh, it's been about like five hours since we did it, so now we're gonna inoculate.
while we're done, hey, we got the starter done. This is not the most ideal technique to do a starter. I will, I normally do it by a uh, pressure cooker. We do four at a time. Uh, I was trying to explain something simple, something easy, so you can basically do it. Anyone can do it on their home, but uh, ideally the best will be with a pressure cooker or an autoclave, that would be the best, but whatever we got at home, that's what we have to play with, okay? Well, I hope you this video likes it. I, I hope this video was good enough for you guys and clear some of your questions and help you with your next brew day. And yeah, for me, see you in the next one.